Okay, beauty symbols. Time to make some mac and cheese. So we're just going to um, go ahead and get the water set up. Get your pan. Get you some salt. Put a little salt in the water. Bring that to a boil. And I use creamettes for my macaroni and cheese so get that started and let the water boil drain your macaroni and cheese once it gets uh, to the desired tenderness and you don't want to overcook your uh, noodles so once everything is done I will be back and um, we'll go ahead and finish up the macaroni and cheese to go into the oven be right back okay guys so the macaroni and cheese is ready to be drained we're going to go ahead and do that another pan I'm going to take my evaporated milk Then we are also going to use some heavy whipping cream. This is calling for a half a cup. Now for my mixture, and I've already greased my pan with the butter, what I like to do is mix up with that milk is I like to mix up my Velveeta so I don't have to um, So I don't have to um, grate it. And I'm just going to use about this much. You can cut it in half again. Stick that in there. Let it all melt down. Okay. And as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to use the rest of that.
okay so you just gonna stir that around until it gets nice and melted that'll be your cream for your macaroni and cheese and once that's done I'll be right back now that we have the mixture ready for the macaroni and cheese we're going to take the macaroni and cheese put it in your buttered dish Take your sauce and just pour it right on in. Mix everything up together real nice. Add your seasonings. Salt. Mix that up real nice. Now you want to add in your other cheeses. This is sharp cheddar that I'm adding in now. Mix that up. Add in your Kobe Jack. And I add in just about half of it. Mix that. And then you want to add in your mozzarella. And about half of that. Nice and cheesy. Okay. And you want to taste it. <laughs> Right. 
Yes, ma'am. Ooh, child, stop. Add in your eggs, two eggs. This is last because you want to make sure it tastes the way you want it before you add that in there. Alright, just add that in. it's mixed up nice and good. You're going to let this cook for about 35-45 minutes. Paprika. And cover with your aluminum foil. Okay guys, so here is the macaroni and cheese all finished and ready to dig in. Alright, I will see you guys later. Bye.